Hey folks, this is Vint with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out a couple of the new DLCs that are available for Golf With Your Friends. Specifically, the Olympus Odyssey course, which is an 18-hole course for $9, and the Legends of Olympus pack. It's a bunch of cosmetic stuff for $4, so you're looking at about... I say 13, 14 bucks for all of this new content, which is kind of mind boggling to me because the core game is $15. Yeah, the core game is $15, but the game has a total of $72.85 worth of DLC. I'll never get behind that kind of business practice. I got some free keys for this, which is why I'm covering it, but I would never pay $80 worth of DLC for a $15 game. I just, I don't like that style of uh, it just, it bothers me, that, that particular business model. Anyway, so what does this DLC, set of DLCs have to offer? Like I said, the Olympus DLC course is 18 holes. It offers some new content, some new looks. And the cosmetic stuff, you've got, you know, various ball types, so you can change your ball type. There's different hats. There's different wraps. Uh, for when you're on water, and there's different streaks that'll go behind your ball whenever you're shooting it. So if you like all the bells and whistles, you know, definitely pick up the Olympus, the Legends of Olympus $4, you know, DLC pack, which is, again, just cosmetic stuff. But if you're in it just for the golf, then you can get by with just getting the $9 Olympus Odyssey course, which, again, is 18 holes, and it does some new things that the other courses don't do, which is kind of cool. Um, I should also mention, you can, like, there's, like, a bundle, so maybe it might be cheaper to look at the bundles when it's on sale. There's, like, a Buy With Your Friends uh, Golf Ultimate Edition pack, uh, which is, like, 50 bucks normally. I would wait for that to go on sale, but that includes all of like the DLC from what I can tell, and it's just cheaper to get it that way. So this Olympus course just confirms what I already know about my golfing skills in general. I suck. <laughs> I mean, um, up to date, like these DLC courses are fairly difficult. I don't know what it is. I mean, I guess they have to make it fairly difficult to keep people coming back and playing it. I mean, who wants to pay $9 for a course that you can easily beat and get a hole in one on every hole. So I can, I can kind of understand that. Um, some of the new features of this 18 hole course, uh, there's an angel wings mechanic. It's like a little floating vase with wings on it. And when you grab it, it gives you a temporary power. You can click and hold the left mouse button and your ball will actually fly for a bit. And there's a number next to your ball that tells you the current charge of that. So the longer you hold it in, the more your charge gets reduced until it gets to zero, then you lose the ability to fly. Of course, you'll be bouncing off clouds and doing other cool things as well. Um, there's even, you know, some new platforms and, and new hole types that I've never seen before that I really like. A lot of jumping in this game, a lot of trying to get from one hole to another. So expect massive failures. <laughs> and you're, and especially if you're coming back to this game after not playing it for a while, because it takes time, like any golf game, it takes time to get used to a power meter. And it also takes time to get used to how a hole actually works. I mean, in this game, you know, if you don't get the power meter just right or the angle just right, it's just game over. I mean, it's not game over, uh, but that, that that's what that's what's that's what keeps me coming back to this is the fun of it. Like this is a game that you just mess around with with your friends. If, if you're trying to like you know, prove that you're the best at golf by playing this game, you're doing it wrong. The whole idea of golf with your friends is to mess around play the, the classic golf mode or the hockey mode or the basketball mode and just have fun with it and to try out some of the new concepts that are in these DLC packs. So I still recommend this game, but I would wait for like a deep sale like of the Ultimate Edition so that you can experience a lot of content all at once and have a lot of fun doing it. Um, this game does have a lot to offer. It's a lot of fun and you can customize your your game setup almost any which way you want to, which is a, a lot of fun. So you could get a lot of playtime out of this, but as a single player game, eh. as a party game that you can play with friends, that's where this game truly shines.
So if you're interested in golf with your friends, then by all means check this out. But like I said, the business practices kind of turn me off. Wait for a deep sale of that Ultimate Edition, and then also check that to make sure that includes everything. This is Vince. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Take care.